Now I should be able to start getting my ass kicked by the game. Thank you, Fire Red version. There we go. No one meter circuit board problem now. It's all about save types. Alright, so here's the start of the Pokemon adventure. The real one! The no problems one. People affectionately refer to me as a Pokemon professor. I don't. You're using a stupid Nidoran. I study Pokemon as a profession. Good for you. I'm a boy. Again. Now that I know what my select button is, I can set this all up. Is that, that. Right, so your name is Chump. Yep. This is my grandson. He's been in revival since you both were babies. What's his name? Gotta fight the Nuzlocke. Row, row, fight the Nuzlocke. Taking down the power. Did I start just now? Yeah, so this is the first time. I was explaining the rules and then the game decided to be a dick. So now I'm gonna try to go through those real quick again. Now that I can actually save. Nah, you ain't stupid. I'm stupid. I couldn't figure out how to do the save properly. Oh, okay. Let's get that done. An item bag can be whatever. Make sure this is fine. There we go. Jump save the game. Awesome. That means we can start the adventure. So again, go into battle or go into options real quick. Battle. God damn it. Battle is on set, so I have to switch Pokemon or take an extra turn to switch Pokemon out if I want to set up the types. Put it on stereo audio. Pink bricks, because who doesn't want pink bricks as a background? Save. That's all set up. And then this is a randomized world, so the items are shuffled, the wild Pokemon are shuffled, trainer Pokemon are shuffled, my starters are shuffled. Everything's jumbled up. It's all one big mess, and I'm going to be trying to go through it. Uh, there's Nuzlocke rules as well, so randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, if my Pokemon faint, they get released. I only get one shot to keep them alive. And let's go up here and talk to Professor Oak while I'm doing this. Uh, the rules are simple. I get one Pokemon per area, per the little route thing popping up. For multiple level areas, like caves, I get the first one that pops up. No duplicates. If I do run into a duplicate, I'll just skip that and catch the next thing that I run into that isn't. Hey, Oak, yep, take me in. I want a starter. Am I going to run the stream through in one go or just do it in parts? I'm going to do it in parts because I won't be able to finish it all tonight. Like, I do want to try to play all of it on stream, but there might be some long grinding times. And I just straight up don't have the time to sit down and do it for probably what would take 24 hours. Now chum, inside those poke three Pokeballs or Pokemon, which one will you choose for yourself? But I am going to go for quite a while for the starting thing, because I do have a lot of fun with Pokemon. I've been having the Pokemon fever. <laughs> Bulbasaur is my choice, it's very easy to raise. Do I want to go with Bulbasaur? No. So... Uh, okay. Squirtle. Nope. Mm -mm. What else do I got? A Charmander. Hmm. Well, I decided I would go with whatever the game gave me. I could I could always go back and do it again, but I, no, fuck that. So, we're gonna take one of these three. Cloyster, or Bulbasaur, Nincata Squirtle, or Fanfi Charmander. Now keep in mind, types are randomized, so we don't know what we'll be against. I'm probably gonna take Cloyster though. Look at him. Look at that face. He's smug. He knows he's gonna win. Pokemon is really quite energetic. Chump received the Cloyster. I want to give a nickname to Cloyster? Hell yes I do. Got a nickname every Pokemon. I don't have a name. Uh, let's go with... It's morning in Sweden. No, I don't have enough characters I was going to say, I'll name him Swedish Morning. <laughs> I 
lame. Okay, well, you know what? Since, you, since you're talking there, buddy, this guy's you. So we'll try to keep you alive. You got funny flows as the first Pokemon. Your name fits perfectly in there. Alright, so now he's gonna pick Fanfi. You made the wrong choice there, buddy. Oh, also, he's randomized, but he's still gonna keep his starter every battle. So we'll see that Fanfi become a Dawn fan at some point. My Pokemon looks a lot tougher than yours. Fuck you. I have a Cloyster. A wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. Wait, chum. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Leader Nuzlocke. So he's a leader. Not a follower. Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Chump, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. A trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Do I really want to? Maybe I just want to go and collect them like I do in Pokemon Go. Just play Pokemon Safari. Don't fight nothing. This is an interesting <laughs> move set. Holy shit. Uh, let's give him a crab hammer. I don't know whether or not my physical is higher than my special. And he's dead. Goodbye. Yeah, Funny Flows is level 6. Player defeated leader Nuzlocke. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Damn right you did. <laughs> Should have picked the giant ass cloister. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon ba uh, battle to toughen it up. Chump, Grimp, smell you later. I want my own cool exiting theme. It'll just be a sad sound like. Okay, there we go. Um. Let's actually take a look and see what we got going on with Funny Flows. A modest nature, so I think that's special attack, and he blocks critical hits. Oh my god, that's fantastic. High defense, low special defense, that's unfortunate. I guess I just hope I don't take any special attacks that are grass. Speed decent, special attack and attack are fine. I really just wish that... I would would not mind having low speed if it meant having better uh, special defense. Alright, now we save the journey, we beat our rival, and we are ready to get the hell out of this town. Uh, which way are we going here? This way. Do you hand me a potion? It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. I know, I'll give you a sample. Awesome. Could always use another potion. Uh, actually, is that my only potion? Yeah, it's my only potion. Well, here's hoping I don't need it yet. Here we go. So, the run doesn't technically start until I get my Pokeballs. I don't have any yet, and I'd really like to have some, because that's a Kabutops. Oh, come on! I missed. Funny fools, you gotta wipe that mud off your eyes, man. I know it's morning. Time to wake up and slap him with a crab hammer. There you go. Awesome. And the beauty of going on randomized runs is if you run into evolved Pokemon and knock them out, they always give you a ton of EXP, whether it's low level or high level. It's fantastic. Of course, if you get a bunch of unevolved Pokemon towards the end, it can be a real grind. Let's see here. Oh, come on. I'm trying to figure out the shortest route, because I just want to get to the Pokeballs. And that'll annihilate him. Damn. Funny Flows is coming in armed with a bazooka. 
it's got a bunch of little like defenseless people walking around they're like no please which am I going here this way it's been a little bit so I kind of forget the adventure in this one for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Thanks. I don't think he took any damage actually, so not quite sure why I did that. Here we go. Mark. Do I have to buy Pokeballs this time around? You came from Pallet Town. No Professor Oak. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go run the order back to him. That's what happens. It's like I'm, I swear there was a delivery I have to make. Let's talk a little bit about, about Pokemon while I'm making my way here, so definitely played through this and the older version of it a lot of times, and a lot, like every Pokemon game that's come out. D um, I'm a big fan of the series. I didn't really care for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, despite loving Sapphire and Ruby growing up, just because I didn't want to do any of the sneaking stuff and it felt like it was taking forever to just get through the game. I've I normally, when I try to play through the games now, when they're released, I do Nuzlocke just to keep myself entertained, because as an RPG it's pretty basic and, you know, not very challenging, so you want to impose some challenges on yourself. But I do love the series, and I'm really excited for a lot of new Pokemon coming out in Sun and Moon. Just excited for Sun and Moon in general. You get to be on an island, Hop Islands, you get this cool tropical environment, which is an environment type I love. You get a bunch of new starters, and apparently these starters are gonna have multiple evolutions, possibly, like based off on the island you evolve them on. I mean, that seems like kind of a problem to deal with, but it also is cool if you can do that and breed a bunch of starters and just get all these different uh, final form starters. So he's telling me about Pokemon and catching and all that. Get moving, you two. This is a great under. Er, yeah, this is a great undertaking Pokemon history. Alright, Grams, leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, chump. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming to, around to my place after this. What a dick. I just wanted to have fun and catch Pokemon. Uh, to continue on with the Pokemon thing. Been playing a bunch of Pokemon Go since... You know, there's only so much I can do in Pokemon before I go, man, I'd rather not- I'd rather go play Monster Hunter or something for a little bit. If I ask you to run an errand, gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Got my town map. So I, I play Go, I, I do gyms sometimes, I try to get my little coin bonus, but for the most part I just try to catch Pokemon, get the ones I like. I can't get an Exeggutor, god damn it, I really want one. Okay, this way. Do I not get the running shoes either? Yo, mother, I need these shoes that allow me to run at a rapid pace. No, not a nap. Okay. I got alpha kind of ruined the old school hone. By the way, hone is my fave. What's my fave? What's your fave gen? Um, I didn't really care for the black and white one. I kind of got out of it there. I spent a lot of time in the hone one because I got the the strategy guide with it. So I tried to figure out the uh, braille puzzles. For Regis or to steal Red Rock, all that. It was a lot of time running around looking, trying to figure out those. Cause they don't I don't think they straight up tell you in the guide, they just had gave you the braille thing and said, alright, good luck. Now that I have Pokeballs, this is my first Pokemon muck. Um, my favorite gen though. Uh, right now would probably be the the Sil so Arjoto region. Cause you get 16 gyms, you get a long ass journey, you get to fight Red. He's all beefed up. Do I not have Pokeball still? There they are. Johto gets 16, Johto gets, you know, a lot of content. And a lot of cool Pokemon were added in. I love Totodile, Cyndaquil's pretty cool, Chikorita, eh. And then it has who 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 Pretty cool guy. Stantler. Just a lot of Pokemon I like. Uh, give a nickname to Capture Muck. Hell yes. Let me see. What do I got going on here? Okay. Oh. 
a buddy of mine is hanging out in chat, so I'm gonna name this after him. He can be the muck. Okay, I got it. Yep. Trying to Snorlax a Pokemon Go like a week ago. Damn it! Everyone's getting Snorlaxes, but not me. I just want one. One would be nice. I'm poisoned. I need to go get to the Poke Center. Also, we got our first other Pokemon, Muck. Um, don't think your Pokemon can faint from poison in this one. 